Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have an underrated slime shop review featuring four international slime shops. So all of these shops are not in the US. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started with the first slimer. We have Patty Slimes from Canada and she sent me six of her slimes. Everything arrived safely in a box and she also sent some borax and some candy. First off, we have a DIY clay slime called Mango Berry Parfait and it came with a mango clay slice and a mango jelly cube slime. I also top it off with some berry charms to match the name and the scent for this. It smells exactly like fresh mangoes. It smells really good. The texture of the slime is supposed to be a berry jelly slime on the bottom and a snow butter on top. So as you can see, it did slightly mix, which isn't a huge problem. I was still able to fully mix it myself and add in the jelly cube slime and the mango clay slice, which looks exactly like a mango. The few jelly cubes that were in it were super satisfying to squish. When the slime is fully mixed, it turns into this light peach color and into a squishy clay slime that is super fluffy and inflatable. Next is another DIY clay slime and this one is called Strawberry Bee Kisses. It came with two strawberry kisses clays and a strawberry charm and some strawberry syrup. So I was able to top it off and mix it up and this was so fun to mix. On the bottom there was a snow fizz and on the top there was a white snow butter which slightly did mix during transit. So it gave it a white and red ombre effect which was super cute and the scent for this smelled exactly like raspberry and peaches so it smelled like a sour peach scent. It is a great scent but I would prefer if it matches the name so maybe like a strawberry chocolate scent would have been perfect. This slime also turned into a clay slime that had some plastic snow texture in it so it was super fluffy and squishy. Next up we have Ariel's Pearl and this is one of her ice cream scoop DIY clay slimes. The clay scoop looked exactly like ice cream and the colors in it were so pretty and also came with matching pearls to match the aerial theme. The base of the slime had a purple jelly slime and also a fluffy clay slime on top which did slightly mix and translate but you can still see it made an ombre effect which was super cute and when you mixed it up this turned into my favorite texture of this package. It was another fluffy clay slime but this had an amazing scent. It smelled exactly like sweet lychee. This texture was soft and squishy and super inflatable and I would say it is perfect except that I didn't really like the pearls in it so I just took it out. So if you don't like the pearls, you can just easily take it out or just leave it in if you like how it feels. That we have Yakult Gelato and this one is scented exactly like Yakult so it smells like a yogurt drink. The scent for this is spot on so if you guys know what Yakult is and you like it then you will really like this slime. It also came with a leaf plant charm and the texture of this felt like a cloud cream. It is soft and squishy and when you inflate it, it makes really nice sizzles. This one is also one of my favorite textures from this package. Next up we have Pistachio Whip and the texture of this felt like a thicker or denser of the Ariel's Pearl. So it is another fluffy clay slime. It has a matching pistachio green color and also came with some pistachio and red bean charms. The scent for this is really surprising to me. It smells exactly like pistachio and red beans. So if you like those, you will love this slime. It has a really great texture. It is soft. 
and squishy and inflatable. All of her clay slimes that I felt in this package do have a slight wet texture and it's not a huge deal especially if you want to moisturize your hands but I just wanted to point that out. Lastly, we have Sunset Spritzer, and this is a Bingsu bead slime that also comes with some whipped cream. And I honestly enjoy this texture the way it is. It's clear and you can see the iridescent Bingsu beads, but it also came with a whipped cream slime and some iridescent glitter and toppings. After mixing the slime up, it turned into a fluffy textured slime and I wasn't able to see the iridescent Bingsu beads as much. So I prefer the texture without the clay slime in it, but it still makes a really nice texture that becomes so sizzly. Overall, I really did enjoy her package. I really like fluffy slimes and she sells a lot of them. So it's great if you're looking for something inflatable and her scents are amazing as well. If you like the slimes that I showed you guys, then make sure to check out her shop. Next up we have Daisy Slime AU and she is from Australia. I've actually reviewed her before on my Instagram stories and I'll be reviewing her again for you guys on YouTube. She sent me four slimes. The first slime that we have is Taro Milk Tea and this one is a thick and glossy taro scented slime. I don't know or remember what taro smells like exactly but this does sort of remind me of it. It kind of smells like a sweet potato-y powdery kind of scent and I'm not really a huge fan of it but it is a nice sweet scent. The texture of this was more of a squishy semi thick glossy slime. It was clicky. It had cute add-ins like star sprinkles and boba pearls. Next up we had red bean milk and this was another thick and glossy slime and it came with two red bean charms. The scent for this does remind me of red bean but I don't think it is as spot on as Patty Slime's red bean pistachio slime. Overall it is the same thick squishy texture as the first thick and glossy slime. It is good clicky, stretchy and it makes really nice bubble pops and the scent does really remind me of red bean. Next up we have Peachy Mocktail and I believe this is a clear slime with cloud slime in it so it is a float slime but it might have slightly mixed during transit as you can see but it turns into a super thick jelly slime. It was slightly sticky at first but once I mixed it up it became less sticky. The colors in this were gorgeous and it also came with matching fruit female slices. I really like the scent for this. It did smell exactly like peach juice. Next up we have Egg Pancake and this one is a DIY Clay Butter Snow Fizz and I'm not exactly sure if it's supposed to arrive and look like this but it had a white glue snow fizz on the top and as you see it was slightly sticky so I did have to activate it and after you mix it up it turns into this soft butter snow fizz that is crunchy, has a really nice texture and it becomes sizzly as well. I really like this texture. It was super crunchy and I loved to squeeze it, but the scent wasn't my favorite. It's supposed to be egg cake scented, but it didn't really smell like a cake to me. It smelled really savory like with a hint of sweet. It kind of reminded me of like buttered bread. 
Overall, I really enjoyed her textures and some of her scents were pretty unique. I just wasn't a huge fan of the narrow containers, but that's my personal opinion. And these were the extras that she sent me. So uh, thank you so much. And if you guys are interested in her slimes, make sure to check her out. All the links will be down below. Next up, we have Crafty Slime Time, and she is from Australia as well. She actually sent me nine slimes, but I'm only able to show you guys six, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have Zena or Zena. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is a thick and super glossy, clicky slime that is scented like strawberry daiquiri, and it smells like sweet strawberries to me. It is a bright neon pink slime that is so, so glossy. One of the glossiest slimes ever. And this slime is pretty thick as well and very stretchy for how thick it is. I also like how it's a little squishy and it's also thick. So I really like that texture. And she uses three different glues in this. So it feels really unique. I've never felt a thick slime like this. And if you are looking for one that is bright and neon, smells really good, and is also super stretchy, then this thick slime is perfect for you. Next up, we have Phoenix Blood, and this texture really, really surprised me. I was so shocked once I poked this. This is a putty slime. So when you think of a putty slime, you think of a store-bought putty or a super thick clear slime that is not that stretchy. But this putty kind of did feel like a store-bought putty slime, but much better. It was so squishy, it was thick, it was still stretchy, and it was not sticky at all. I am really in love with this texture. It feels exactly like a putty and I felt nothing like it. I really like this. So if you're looking for a clear slime that is thick and putty-like, this is amazing. I've never felt it before and I just can't keep telling you guys how amazing it is. This putty slime also is pigmented so it is gorgeous but it does stick to your hands. So after you play with it, your hands will be all shiny, which isn't a huge deal. You can just easily wash it off. And the scent for this is a nice sweet pink sugar scent. Next up, we have Ice Coffee Mocha Frap, and it is a dense butter clay slime on the bottom with a whipped cream topping and some syrup and also some chocolate chunks. Assembling this was so fun and I was also able to mix it as well and when you mix it up It turns into a dense butter slime that is super super creamy and the scent for this is a strong Coffee and vanilla scent. She does mention that she uses multiple clays and glues in her slime So this feels really unique. It doesn't feel like any other clay slime or butter slime that I felt it is incredibly creamy and squishy squishy and I really love to squeeze this because it's more of a creamy slime it doesn't really become fluffy and sizzly but it's still a really nice texture next up we have Mickey's Crunch Krispies and this is one of her best sellers it's a DIY snow fizz slushy slime so it is a white glue slushy on the bottom and also comes with a purple snow fizz that you can add on top yourself it also came with Mickey Mouse sprinkles to match the name and the base of this was so thick. There was no fallout at all and it becomes so crunchy. It becomes so bubbly and I just love squeezing all the bubbles out and the scent for this was a very strong sweet scent. It is scented butterscotch mallows and it kind of reminds me of marshmallows and coconut. Next up we have Barbie's Boba and this is a thick pigmented clear slime. It kind of has the same neon color as Zena or Zena and it is so gorgeous. It also has a bunch of Barbie themed add-ins. 
there were a lot of pearls and heart thingies and overall it was so cute and I just loved how there were a ton of add-ins. It gave the slime a lot of texture. It is scented like Fruit Loops and cotton candy which is super sweet. Overall it is super stretchy and it made nice bubble pops. The only thing that would make it perfect is maybe to have a clear slime since I can't really see all the add-ins but it is still amazing. Lastly from her we have Rocher DIY and it is a DIY clay slime that has a clay forever Rocher ball on top and also a layer of clay on the top of the base. As you can see the white base was a little sticky but because the clay was a little stiff I was able to mix it. Some of the clay did dry out so it was a little hard to mix so this slime turned into a chunky creamy butter slime. The texture of this was pretty similar to the iced coffee slime except less clay heavy and it was more of a bubble pop slime. The scent for this is caramel nut cream so it matches the slime super well. Overall her slimes were super unique and I've never felt textures like that before and I really did enjoy them. So if you guys liked what you saw then make sure to check her out. And these were all the extras that she sent me. She sent me an entire box so thank you so much and I can't wait to try them all. Next up we have Chappie Slimes and he is actually from New Zealand and he sent me a ton of slimes but I can only show you six of them. And first off we have Funfetti Cookie DIY. It has a thick and glossy base but it was slightly sticky so I did activate it. And it came with two of these handmade cookies that had a bunch of sprinkles in it. And when you mix it up it turns into a dense and creamy clay slime texture. Usually clays will soften the slime up, but I did notice that it made the slime more thick and dense. So the clay in this kind of had a thicker structure to it. This slime smelled exactly like sweet vanilla butter cookies. Overall, it became a dense clay slime that made squeaky bubble pops and really was fun to inflate. Next up we have strawberry cheesecake and this had a crunchy snow fizz slime on the bottom and a creamy butter slime on the top and it also came with a container of strawberry syrup and strawberry female slices. The slime did arrive a little sticky so I added some activator here. This slime smells exactly like the name so like a sweet strawberry cheesecake and when you mix the slime up it turned into this light dusty pink color and it became a squishy creamy textured clay slime. Next up we have Cookie Butter DIY and it came with a Slay Slime base that had pom poms and cookie chunks and it came with two chocolate chip cookies. Upon mixing it I noticed that the chocolate chunks in it were like a different type of clay that didn't mix as easily as the cookie part. When you mix it up it turns into a thick and creamy clay slime that is similar to the Funfetti Cookie DIY except that it is a tiny bit more clay heavy. The scent for this wasn't exactly like a chocolate chip cookie scent but it's not spot on like cookie dough like before you bake the cookie which smells really good and sweet. Next up we have Mango Gloss and this is a thick and glossy glue all based slime. And as you can see it is super glossy when it arrived but it was slightly sticky so I did activate it in the next clip. 
This line was nice and thick. It had a mango color and it smelled exactly like fruity mango but more candy like. Overall, a really nice thick and glossy slime that makes nice bubble pops. Next up we have apple juice and this is a clear slime with pom-poms in it and apple female slices and also some little fake leaf charms. This slime was super clear and scented as well. It smelled like a sweet spiced apple. Overall I love the cute add-ins in this slime and it felt like a semi-thick super squishy clear slime that wasn't sticky so it was really fun to squish and squeeze. Lastly, we have apple pie fluff and it looks exactly like an apple pie. There is a pie crust design on the top and on the bottom there's a light green cloud slime. This slime smelled exactly like apple pie and I love the design and color. When you mix it up, it turns into a like a brownish green color. This cloud sign was very, very thick and dense, so it had a lot of resistance when you pull or stretch it. It was very fluffy and it also made really nice drizzles. It's not one of my favorite cloud textures since I prefer mine to be softer and easier to stretch, but it is still a great cloud slime that is dry, soft, fluffy, and drizzly. Overall, I enjoyed the slimes from this package and I loved how I got to try out some New Zealand slimes and also some snacks. These were some of the extras that were sent to me. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys liked any slimes that you saw, make sure to check out the shop's link down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!